when you watch the tour players, they are so good at rotating into the shot. And when, when you look at them down the line like this, the old expression is both cheeks at impact. You can, you can see the hips have rotated a lot. Uh, even the shoulders are starting to open up a lot. And frankly, most of the people that I teach a little bit older, maybe they've sat at a desk for a long time, and they, they just don't have the mobility that it takes to get into that position. So a lot of times I have them focus a little more on their footwork because if I simply take this foot and roll it up onto the tiptoes, my whole body just turned through anyway. So it does kind of happen from the ground up anyway. So if you work a little more on what's happening in that trail foot, the right foot for the right-handed player, you can see this foot's all the way up. You really should be able to pick that foot right up off the ground when you finish a golf swing. And the knees are pretty much touching at the end of the swing. Another way you can get the feel for that, if you just put the club across your legs right above the knee and turn to your left, you can see the shaft stayed on, on both legs. A lot of people, when they try this, they go like this, and it, this part comes through, but obviously, it didn't happen down here. So put the club against both legs and simply turn to your left. You can see I'm now completely facing 90 degrees from where I was just a minute ago and the shaft is still flat against both legs.